All right, so I decided to make part two uh, to show you guys how to do a reset uh, service light without using the scan tool. Uh, so what you're gonna do, you're gonna insert the key and uh, turn the key on position one. And you're gonna cancel these messages and you're gonna hit back arrow till trip is highlighted. And then what we're gonna do, is gonna, you're gonna press this phone receive button. While you're doing that, you're gonna hit OK at once and you're gonna press and hold for five seconds till shop menu shows up in the cluster. Okay, so as you can see, this shop menu, vehicle data, and assist plus, and dynamom test. I'm assuming it's dyno test. So we're gonna uh, press this arrow down till assist plus is highlighted. Let's see if I can, there we go. And then you're gonna confirm by pressing OK. And then you're gonna go under full service, arrow down, this arrow up, arrow down, go to full service, press OK. And then it's gonna ask you confirm full service. So you're gonna press OK by pressing arrow down till it's highlighted. So we'll confirm by pressing OK. Service carried out, you're gonna say yes. And then it's gonna tell you it cannot be undone. You confirm with it and now it's telling me full service could not be carried out because I already reset it so it's not letting me but if you turn the key off and on again we'll show you so you, it's already been set okay this plus there we go service A and the next service A is going to be next year which is 365 days later all right so hopefully it uh, helps someone uh, hopefully it helps someone else out there and this is where i got the information from so i hold it for a little a little bit and you guys can feel free to pause the video and read through it if um the video didn't make sense hopefully this would make sense all right well, this is it. Thanks for watching.